The two-part epic finale of Agatha All Along is now out, and honestly, why didn't this come sooner? Spoiler for the episodes ahead, and also for the whole show, so come back after having watched it. So the two-part finale starts off with the final witch's trial, which is also how they get their wishes granted. Jen gets her magic back, Billy kind of finds Tommy or helps him respawn at least, and Agatha, well, she just completes the trial. She then fights death, and Billy comes to save her, wearing his classic costume straight out of the comics. And then she sacrifices herself. And then we also find out that the witch's road is in fact Billy's hex all along. Then we get a flashback to Agatha's past and what really happened to Nicholas Scratch, aka Agatha's son. And then we see that the witch's road was just a con by Agatha all along. Then she appears as a ghost to Billy and will guide him in the future to go find Tommy. Now the one thing I want to say right off the bat is that Marvel needs to get the writers of this show and the Loki show to make every Disney Plus show because they understand how shows work. The full 6 or 9 episode format works for them because they somehow managed to make every episode as exciting exciting as the next. I know what the show really does is, but the first thing I will say that the ending of this show though did feel kind of just abrupt, like it just happens. Like I was fully expecting them to find Tommy but nope, that's for the spin-off show of a spin-off three years down the line. This also raises the question as to whether Billy will show up in the Avengers movies because he still has an entire adventure to go on left before he's ready for Doomsday at least. But besides that, the final two episodes were actually good, keeping up with the streak that the show has been going on. It also makes complete sense why they released both episodes at the same time. The first reason is that it's Halloween, so having Agatha finish on Halloween would be good. But also episode 8 ends with Agatha dying and the reveal that it was Billy all along. So imagine the reviews if they had done it separately. Everyone would have just slated on episode 8 at the fact that it was just so unserious. Also, it did feel unserious because the deaths of Alice, Mrs. Hart and Lilia kind of just felt like pointless. Besides that, the fight and the dynamic between Rio and Agatha was actually kind of emotional. I know last week I said that I didn't care about Lilia's death, so when she died there was no emotion. Well, I felt all of those emotions in this episode when Agatha died. Though I wasn't completely heartbroken, but the story of Nicholas Scratch and the unease I felt knowing that death will eventually come for him, that is where the show scores. Billy's suit was also a really good design. Post Endgame, every suit has been comic accurate and it's beautiful. So episode 8 gets an 8 out of 10. The final episode had all the emotional heartthrobs and everything enough to make make it the best episode of the show despite an underwhelming ending. Now usually every Marvel show has the third act flashback in episode 8 and the epic final battle in episode 9 but I do really appreciate that this show has done it the other way around and it works 10 times better because of it. So overall this episode gets an 8.5 out of 10. If it didn't end so abruptly then it would have definitely been a 9 out of 10. So as for the show overall it was surprisingly a good ride. I know many people before the show had come out questioned why the show exists and I was one of them but now that the show is out it's actually one of the best shows Marvel has made in ages. Disregarding Loki season 2 because that is a season 2 of a goated show. But I do think that the show only shines because it has no hype. I feel like had the show had the same amount of hype as WandaVision then it would have fallen flat on its face and people's opinions on the show would have been completely different. But it still would have been good just not as good as it was. And this show finally brings out the vintage Marvel that we've all been missing in phase 4 and most of 5. This show actually links to other shows and movies which I can't believe that this in itself is a positive considering I'm talking about a project in the MCU. I feel like this should be the bare minimum for anything in the MCU but the fact that it isn't is kind of worrying but the future is looking bright with many more projects finally linking up and setting up Doomsday. But overall this show is an 8 out of 10. Comparing it to WandaVision it kind of falls short mainly because nothing can live up to the WandaVision hype but besides that it's definitely one of the best shows. Probably like the third best show overall with Loki and WandaVision securing the sweet 1 and 2 positions and that is a sentence I never thought I would say a year ago but here I am. And there may be some tough competition this year for the superhero awards so subscribe to check that out when it drops comment below your thoughts on the show and subscribe whilst you're there